Hi guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Teacher Finky, your guide in learning TL Electronics. Tara! Let's explore! In this video lesson, pag-aaralan natin ang tungkol sa Ohm's Law at ang application nito sa pag-compute ng basic circuit. Specifically, you will be learning about the three electrical quantities in circuit, the Ohm's Law triangle, how to find the voltage, resistance, and current, and how to solve sample problems. Before anything else, let us know the mind and man behind this awesome law. This person was Sir George Simon Ohm, a German physicist and mathematician as well as a renowned educator in his time. Nagsimula mag-eksperimento si Sir George gamit ang electrical battery na naimbento ni Alessandro Volta at kanyang nadiskubre ang ugnayan or relationship ng three electrical quantities, namely the voltage, current, and resistance. His discovery of the relationship of three electrical elements give birth of what we call now the Ohm's Law. He discovered that current is directly proportional to the voltage applied across the conductor and inversely proportional to the resistance of the circuit. Sa madaling salita, pag malakas ang supply ng voltahe sa circuit, it is expected na malakas din ang daloy ng kuryente. At kapag may load or any resistive materials kagaya ng ilaw or resistor na nailagay sa circuit, ihina ang daloy ng kuryente. Para maintindihan natin lalo ang Ohm's Law, alamin muna natin ang function ng bawat isa. To demonstrate their role in electricity, let me show you this animation. This is an example of a complete basic circuit. It has four major components. The battery, the conductor, the switch, and the load. The battery here is our voltage source, and it has an electrical pressure that pushes charged electrons through a conductor. That force makes the charged electrons to move through the conductor. And this flow of electrons is called current. By the way, you might be asking, what is electron, right? Electron is the negative charge of an atom, the smallest particle of a matter. Everything around us is a matter. So is the conductor. Example ng electrical conductor ay copper at aluminum na siyang kalimitan na gamit sa mga commercial cables. Ang conductor ay nagsisibing daluyan ng electrical charge at nag-uugnay sa mga electrical components sa circuit. Ang conductor ay may property na tinatawag na resistance, which means opposition or restriction to the flow of current. May kukumpara natin ang resistance sa isang water pipe or water dam na kaya makontrol ang lakas ng daloy ng tubig. The switch here is an electrical component na ang function ay i-connect or disconnect ang flow ng electricity sa circuit. Lastly, the load. Ang tawag sa mga electrical device or electronics product na kumukonsumo ng kuryente kagaya ng ilaw, appliances, gadgets, at iba pa. In learning the Ohm's Law application later on, let us know the schematic diagram of a simple circuit. You will find two symbols for the two diagram. The symbols for the battery, ito, 1 and 2, and for the resistor. And the line here symbolize the conductor. The Ohm's Law triangle will help us know the relationship of the three quantities. The voltage is represented by the big letter V. Some books use letter E, which means electromotive force, the other synonym of voltage. Voltage is defined as the specific measure of potential energy that is always relative between two points. The current is represented by the big letter I, which means intensity of current flow. It is the rate of charge flow past a given point in an electrical circuit. Lastly, the resistance, and it is being represented by the big letter R and is defined as a measure of the opposition to current flow in an electrical circuit. Ang voltage, current, at resistance ay may kanya-kanyang unit of measurement. 
Ang voltage, current, at resistance ay may kanya-kanyang unit of measurement para ma express ang quantities ng bawat isa. For the voltage, ang unit of measurement na gamit ay volt na ang abbreviation ay letter V. Sa current naman ay ampere na big letter A ang abbreviation ng unit. At ang sa resistance ay ohm na represented by the Greek letter omega as symbol of unit. With the help of Ohm's Law Triangle, deriving of Ohm's Law formula makes easier, especially for a beginner like you. Let us start with the voltage formula. Gamit ang Ohm's Law Triangle, takpan ang letter V ng voltage at i-multiply ang naiwan na current at resistance sa isa't isa. So for the voltage, the formula is V equals I times R or voltage equals current times resistance. To find the current, takpan ang I na makikita sa left side at i-divide ang voltage sa resistance. So the current formula is I equals V over R or current equals voltage over resistance. Now to find the resistance, takpan natin ang R sa bandang kanan ng triangle pagkatapos ay i-divide ang voltage sa current. So, ang formula natin sa resistance is R equals V over I or resistance equal voltage over current. Now, let us review the Ohm's Law formula. To find the voltage, the formula is the formula is V is equal to I times R. For the current, the formula is I is equal to V over R. And for the resistance, the formula is R is equal to V over I. Ayan, madali lang tandaan, di ba? I am quite sure that you are now ready to take the sample problems. Let's have the sample number 1. How much voltage is present on a circuit with 10 ohms resistance whose current is 0.5 ampere? The given quantities are I or the current is 0.5 ampere and the resistance is 10 ohms. The missing value here is the voltage. Since we all know the voltage formula which is V is equal to I times R, yan. So, madali lang natin may isusolve. Multiply 0.5 ampere 10 ohms and we have 5 volts. So, 5 volts is our voltage value. Alright, let's move on to the next sample problem. How much is the current in a 120 ohms resistor? If its voltage is 12 volts. So the given quantities are voltage is 12 volts, the resistance is 120 ohms. So ang ating missing value here? Yes, current. We need to find the current. And the current formula is I is equal to V over R. 12 volts divided by 120 ohms, the answer is 0 0.1 ampere. The amount of current in the circuit is 0.1 ampere. Now let's move on to the last sample problem. How much resistance allows by a 6 volt battery to produce a current of 0.006 ampere? The given quantities are voltage, which is 6 volts, current, which is 0.006 ampere. So, the missing value is resistance. Given the formula, which is the R is equal to V over I, you have to divide 6 volts to 0 0.006 ampere. And the answer would be 1000 ohms or 1 kilo ohms. Okay, try these problems para makapag-practice kayo sa pag-compute gamit ang Ohm's Law formula. And as for the answer, Kindly check the description box below. Here are my social media accounts. Add me up, subscribe, and share. God bless everyone. Keep safe.